It is Alex. We're doing Quadrant Dub 1 Edit version by Basic Channel. I'm going to say a few things. So first, you can skip ahead to this timestamp if you want to just get to the breakdown. But uh, yeah, I want to say thank you to my Patreon subscribers so far. If you haven't subscribed to my Patreon, please check it out. There is a link in the description. Really appreciate it. I will make more videos if I get more Patreon subscribers. That's generally how it goes. So, yeah, I think it's time to dive into this. So, Quadrant Dub 1. It's first going to start off with this drone chord, this swirly sound, and this noise. So, here we go. So, the chord is going do, 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 do. Oh. And let me point this out real quick. All right, so check this out. There's the noise. There's the swirly sound. Woo, woo, woo. Hopefully you can hear that chord in there. But cool. All right. And so then we're going to have our simple bass line come in. It sort of reminds me of that song. We did Packard a little bit. Because it's just very simple. It's going to just keep repeating forever. Okay, so all this stuff is white because this is essentially um, forming the nest for the rest of the song. By that, I mean, if we look, this all this white stuff is basically going to be here for almost all of the song. You'll see the kick drops at some point. And I think this is important because essentially the way this song works is you have a beautiful nest, and then you just have these three different elements, a rhythmic chord, a sort of melody sort of thing, and then another chord slash melody sort of thing that are just going to variate on top of this groove. So we're basically just having fun, you know, messing around with these three elements all while just like sitting in this bed of audio. And so that's why I made this white. And yeah, so we're going to start to notice that now this nest is established and we're going to have some chords just kind of starting to pop in. Okay, so you notice at this point, once this goes from green to pink, it kind of is getting to be a more consistent rhythmic element, the chords, rather than being like a little like, you know, just being played once in a while, like over here. See, it's just more rhythm and active. That's why I changed it to pink. And now we're going to have this new, I called it warm, warm, because it's kind of like a warm, oh, I called it warm, 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 because it's kind of this like warm feeling melody. That's going to start repeating. Volume is slowly increasing. And then again, like I said, we're just going to be messing around with these, with like parameters on these, uh, on these parts of the track. So basically on these tracks, how about that? So you'll notice that here, like the filter starts going down on the rhythmic part. See, some of the high frequencies are disappearing. Meanwhile, the volume on this is increasing. And then you're going to notice, look, see how it's consistent rhythmic? Now it's going to start breaking up a little bit again. At some points, you'll barely even hear it. Skip. 
scarce appearances. See that? Meanwhile, this is still increasing in vibe and energy. So yeah, you get the point. Eventually, it's just this chord is just going to be playing only once in a while, repeating. We're still going to be getting some differences in this eventually until we get the introduction of this glass synth. So let's just keep going. By the way, if you want the project file for this, uh, send me an email and you can check out the description. And yeah, I also teach private lessons where we can break down other tracks. We can talk about mixing. We can talk about production. I can give you feedback all at the Patreon. So go check out that Patreon. I feel like it sounds like you can hear a high note enter the drone chord here. Listen for that. Yee. I'm not sure how long it stays in there, but uh, it does seem to appear at one point. Okay, so y'all see what's happening, right? <clears throat> Basically, like I said, these things are all modulating. At some points, like maybe this is becoming a little more forward in the mix because maybe the filter's going down on these parts and this part's like almost even disappearing. So then we start to focus on this a little bit more than maybe at some point, um, like especially at the beginning. I think this one's not, it's more scarce in its appearances. So then we're maybe still focusing on this etc etc it's basically just this play of using effects to modulate these three different tracks to just like let us focus on this part for a bit let us focus on that part for a bit and if you watch any of the other videos you'll know that so often is the case that with a lot of these like techno songs what we do is we get a loop of like eight elements that sounds cool and then to make a track you just have different combinations of those eight elements playing and because they're in different combinations, we find it interesting to keep listening to it because the entire piece of audio that we're listening to has unique sections because, you know, if you have track A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, at some points you have track A, B, C, D, and E playing. At some points you have track A, B, and D, and F playing. At some points you have F and G and then C playing, etc., etc. So this is sort of like a way of doing that. We just have our nest 
and now you have track A, track B, track C, and you're just going to be like variating A, B, and C so that, uh, you know, you can just create like cool little interesting combinations. And that's basically what we're going to do here. And so, you know, they're using filters, they're using delays. Um, sometimes they're only have like this is like for example on this glass synth this is generally the sequence this this loop right here but sometimes like only this one and this one and this one and this one these two or whatever are getting played something like that um, but sometimes you you hear all of them distinctly sometimes they're getting echoed sometimes they're not but that's what I'm saying you're, you're just getting different combinations and modulations of them so it sounds interesting and yeah so I think we can just play it to the end if, if something else comes up, I'll, I'll bring it up, but uh, that's the basic idea here. All right. All right, and there you have it. Thank y'all for watching. Again, if you enjoy these videos, please check out my Patreon page. There's different tiers. Some include private lessons. Some include track feedback. Some include just helping me out. Uh, the more I get of those, the more I will post these videos. I'm basically doing one a month right now, and I'm honestly only doing it at this point because of my Patreon people. Um, if it wasn't for them, I don't know if I would put this one out. So yeah. Thank y'all. I appreciate it very much. And all right. Have a nice day. Basic channel. Email me if you want the project files. Sounds good. Peace.